My name is Jay and today we have a question. Are there chemicals in my candy? The world deserves to know. But first, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and always leave us a comment because we love hearing from you. Now, for the most part, it's common knowledge that candy isn't healthy. Overall, the rate of childhood obesity has more than tripled over the last four decades. That equates to one in five children today being obese. Over the years, the ingredients in our food have become less recognizable and more scientific. Food companies use more than 3,000 food additives in their packaged products, including preservatives, flavorings, and colors. Scientists are finally putting pressure on the FDA to ban red number three, which is already illegal in cosmetic products. You can't even put it in lipstick or chapstick for that matter. Yet, the discredited chemical is lurking in common varieties that you're going to find in your Halloween candy this year. Candy corn, nerds, peeps, pez, sweet tarts, and hundreds of candies, cakes, and other foods, including dozens of seasonal Halloween items. 24 organizations and prominent scientists are today urging the Food and Drug Administration to formally remove red number three from the list of approved color additives in foods, dietary supplements, and oral medicines. And speaking of artificial additives, a California man is also suing the company Mars Incorporated who makes Skittles for including an additive in its candy permitted by US law, but banned in Europe due to a possible link to cancer risk. The lawsuit claims that the candy is unfit for human consumption because it includes titanium dioxide, which is a chemical used as a white coloring agent. Titanium dioxide is allowed by FDA regulations so long as it makes up less than 1% of a food's total weight. It's used in products like chewing gum, chocolates, pastries, toothpaste, and cosmetics, as well as paint, plastic, and paper production. Ironically, titanium dioxide is also found in sunscreen, you know, the thing that you use to prevent skin cancer. Titanium dioxide gives some types of candy their smooth texture and bright color. It's used in Skittles, Starburst, Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Fish, and Trolley Gummies. How many of these are you passing out for Halloween this year? Comment below. Scientists have warned for many years about the potential health risks of titanium dioxide because it can accumulate in the body and lead to DNA damage and hormone disruption. As of May 2021, the European Food Safety Authority no longer considers the chemical to be safe as a food additive out of concerns about genotoxicity or the potential to damage DNA. Genotoxicity refers to the ability of harmful substances to damage genetic information in cells. Being exposed to chemicals and biological agents can result in genomic instabilities and or epigenetic alterations, which translates to a variety of diseases, cancer included. How many of you out there have a sweet tooth and coincidentally have health problems? Comment below. So you might ask, well, how can these big food companies continue to get away with these practices? And the answer is that big food spends tens of millions of dollars lobbying to our politicians every year. Remember, lobbyists are professional advocates that work to influence political decisions on behalf of individuals like big food companies. The effects of lobbying could lead to the proposal of new legislation or the amendment of existing laws and regulations. And it's the reason why something can be outlawed and banned in, say, Europe, but still be allowed to be sold here in the United States. Now, I know you already have a lot on your mind and it's hard to memorize a bunch of new scientific jargon. So we've made it easy for you to identify which treats to avoid, which is anything that has the word artificial in it. Check your labels. Go ahead, pause the video right now and go look in your pantry. Comment below how many different food products that you found that has the word artificial in it. Let's see who has the most chemicals in their food. And this includes artificial color, artificial dye, artificial flavor, and artificial sweetener. Spooky. Now let's pause for a second. Are you gonna eat a piece, a pack, or a sleeve of candy and dye? No, not unless you choke on it. But we should always ask out of curiosity, you're curious, right? I know, me too. What percentage of children's foods contain artificial additives? According to a 2016 paper published in Clinical Pediatrics, showed that 96% of tested candies contained artificial food dye, 
96%. How about this? 94% of fruit flavored snacks, you know, the ones that you buy because they're sort of like candy, but healthier. 94% of those snacks have artificial dyes in them. 89% of drink mixes and drink powders and 86% of frozen breakfast foods contained artificial food dyes. I'm sure that we've all heard of craft foods. Well, it turns out that 66% of 105 foods tested contained artificial food dye. So you might wanna ask, because you're curious, what all does craft food make? Well, their portfolio includes over 70 major brands, including Oscar Mayer, Mac and Cheese, Velveeta, Capri Sun, Kool-Aid, Lifesavers, Jell-O, Oreos, Lunchables, and so much more. In other words, the pantry of the typical American household. Now, I want you to remember what I'm about to say. The quality of the calories that we consume directly influence the quality of the construction that our body is capable of, AKA, you are what you eat. <laughs> we don't exactly know why the world today is as sick and diseased as it is. Autism, for example, has raised 178% since the year 2000. And when we overlay a graph of childhood obesity, it's alarmingly similar to that of autism, as well as cancer and diabetes. Surely a coincidence. Or is it? Sugar production in America has an annual economic impact of $23 billion. That's a lot of jobs and that's a lot of money. But what's the point of that money if the medical care cost of obesity is $150 billion a year? Heart disease alone costs the United States over $200 billion annually. It's in the best interest of food manufacturers to increase their profit margin, and an easy way to do that is with artificial additives. If I were a betting man, it would be easy to presume that big food, big pharma, and big insurance are all working together to keep you fat, happy, and distracted from facts such as consumption of added sugars are linked to a variety of chronic diseases, including obesity, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, fatty liver, as well as cognitive decline and even some cancers. We've been tricked by the treats of the big food industry for too long, and regardless of how you choose to spend your time and your dollars, consider spending them a little wiser this year, especially now that you know better. And when we know better, it's our job to do better. Today's video references are listed in the video description down below if you want to learn more about today's topic. And with that, I want to wish you good luck on your self-improvement journey. And don't forget to leave us a comment and we will see you in the next video.